Hi there, today I am teaching how to factor trinomials using the slip and slide method. This is used typically when the number in front of x squared, for example in this first one, is anything other than a 1. There are many methods to factor trinomials, but I think that this way is one of the easiest ways. It's kind of more of a shortcut. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to slip. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take the front number, you're going to slip it to the back, and multiply those two numbers. So now I'm going to write what's left over when I slip that 9 to the back. I'm left with x squared minus 9x plus 9 times 2 is 18. So now you have a trinomial that just has a 1 in front of it, an invisible 1. So let's just shortcut factor this. Whenever you're factoring a trinomial that starts with a 1, all you need to find are the two numbers, I'm going to write my work over here, that multiply to be the last number, positive 18, and add to be the middle number, negative 9. When you're doing this, write out all the factors of what you're multiplying to, not what you're adding to. That will take forever. So 18, 1 times 18 is 18, 2 times 9 is 18, and 3 times 6 is 18. So we need to figure out which of these two numbers could I, could I add to get negative 9. We'll have to play with some signs here. 1 and 18 could never get me negative 9, and 2 and 9 could also never add or subtract to get me negative 9. But negative 3 and negative 6 Negative 3 minus 6 is negative 9. So we're going to use these two factors. They also multiply to be positive 18. Negative 3 times negative 6 is positive 18. So let's write that in parentheses. x minus 3 times x minus 6. So now that we factored that trinomial, we are going to not forget about this 9 that we slid back. You are going to take that 9 and divide both of those last numbers by 9. Now, as you see, we got fractions, so let's reduce the fractions. 3 ninths, if we divide the top and bottom by 3, that gets us 1 third. Simplify this fraction too. If we divide the top and bottom by 3, we get 2 thirds. And now we are at our very last step, which is the slide of the method. So if you have a fraction and there's something in the denominator, you're going to take that and you're just going to stick it in front of the x in the parentheses. So my final answer here is, I'm going to move over here, 3x minus 1 times 3x minus 2. And if you FOIL that, that should get you back to your original problem. And remember, multiplication is what they call commutative. So if you got 3x minus 2 times 3x minus 1, that is also the correct answer. There is our first example of using the slip and slide method. Let's go ahead and try our second and last problem. So let's go ahead and start by slipping that front number to the back and multiplying them. So let's write what's left over. x squared minus 9x. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. Let's factor that. I need two numbers that multiply to be the last number, negative 10, and add to be the middle number, which is negative 9. So I'm going to write out all my factors of 10. 1 times 10, 2 times 5, and that's all. So let's play with those numbers to get them to add to be negative 9. I can see that positive 1 minus 10 
would indeed get me negative 9. So we're going to use positive 1 and negative 10. So let's stick those in our parentheses with an x. x plus 1 times x minus 10. Now we cannot forget the 5 that we slipped. Can't forget that. So we're going to divide each of these by 5. Just the last number. And simplify your fraction. x plus 1 fifth. This, this can't simplify any further. It's just 1 fifth. x minus 10 divided by 5 is just 2. And now we're at our last step the slide. So let's see, do we have any denominators, aka the number in the bottom of the fraction to slide in the front? Yeah, we just have this 5. So I'm going to put that in the front there. So my final answer is 5x plus 1 times, this had nothing to slide this parenthesis, so just bring it down, x minus 2. If you foil that, you can check your work and you should get back to the problem. And remember, you could always have them swap to x minus 2 times 5x plus 1 will get you the same answer. Hope this helps. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you would like more math videos.